Welcome to Math and Meditation. In this video, we're going to look at how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. But before we do that, we're going to start in our usual manner by uh, doing our meditation practice or uh, realization. And uh, we start by placing the feet flat on the floor. Straighten up the spine. We can imagine that is there there is a thread pulling from the very top of our head up to the sky, and it just straightens up the whole spine. Now, we relax one part of the body at a time, starting at the bottom. And we do this by relaxing one part at a time during each one of our out breaths. So we take a deep breath and during the first out breath we relax our feet. During the next out breath, we relax our legs. Then we relax our hips and our stomach. Then the chest. And during the next out breath, we relax our arms. And we relax our neck and shoulders. And finally our head. Now with a more relaxed mind and body, we turn to the mat. So uh, what we're interested in knowing is how our standard operations, so plus, minus, multiplication, and division, act on fractions. So uh, let's start with the uh, multiplication since that's the easiest one. So um, for the multiplication we have one third times two fifths and we simply just multiply the numerator and the denominator uh, separately. So one third times two fifths is the same as one times two over three times five, which is two fifteenths. So uh, for the multiplication, we just multiply the top and then multiply the bottom. Now for the division, 
The division is not so different from the multiplication. So if we take the one third and divide it by the two fifths, then that is the same thing as taking the one third and multiplying it by five halves. So in other words, if we flip the fraction uh, below the division sign or after the division sign, we change our problem into multiplication problem. And since we've already seen uh, how we do that, we can do that in the same way. So we multiply the tops together. So it's one times five. And we multiply the bottoms together. So it's three times two. So this leaves us with five, six. Now, the addition and the subtraction are slightly more complicated. And the reason for that is we need to uh, find a common denominator before we can add the two fractions together. So in other words, for the plus, so if we look at the same numbers, so let's look at one third plus two, oops, two fifths. Then before we can uh, do anything with this, we need to um, get a common denominator. And uh, we need to extend each one of the fractions. So uh, if we extend the first fraction by multiplying both the denominator and the numerator by five, then we get times five divided by three times five, Plus. Now for the second one, uh, we use this number to extend the fraction. So we get 2 times 3 over 5 times 3. So this leaves us with 5 or 15 plus 6 over 15 and now we got what we want which is the common denominator so both are over 15 and once we reach that point, we only need to add the numbers on the top. So in other words, this here is equal to 5 plus 6, all divided by 15. Which is the same as 11. over 15. Now the subtraction works in the same way as the addition does in the sense that we do need to find a common denominator both for the addition and the subtraction. So let's look at 2 fifths minus 
one one third equal to and now we extend the first fraction by three so we have two times three divided by five times three minus one third and now we extend this fraction by the number down here so we have three times five and one times five so this leaves us with six fifteenth minus five fifteenth and now once we have the same denominator for both fractions we only need to subtract the top so we have six minus five divided by 15 or 1 15 so those are the four operations for fractions um, I want to thank you for joining us for math and meditation for this video today and I hope you join us again in the future thanks